Welcome to the farm vlog this morning guys. We have another big project in store for you guys today. We're going to be building DIY goat feeders that we're going to mount on the wall. Now we've been saving up our wood from Home Depot the last few months. They do have a section with a bin that you can get some wood that are just, you know, end cuts and stuff that people don't want that they throw away but they give it to their customers for free. And we've been gathering it up over the last little while. Today we're gonna head into town and see if they have any more because we need just a little bit more wood to start the project. We've been using these milk crates over the last few months to put the hay in and they're not ideal. The goats like to jump in them, they pee, they poop in it and you kind of lose your hay. We don't want any more wasted hay, so we're gonna be building these feeders that we're gonna mount on the wall. So come along with us on the farm vlog as we head into town grab some more wood and start this project. So our trip today was to go to Princess Auto mainly, but when we're in town, because it is such a long drive, we like to make the most of it. So we came by our local Home Depot today to check out their scrap wood bin. Pretty much every Home Depot has a scrap wood bin and you're able to take whatever is in there for free. So one of the ways that we save money on the farm and actually complete a lot of projects for free or very little cost is by using the scrap wood. So we've got a few two by fours and stuff today and these are gonna come in really handy when we build our hay feeders for our goats. We don't like wasting a trip into town. We had to come to Princess Auto to pick up the supplies to try and get the tree down. That's right. And at the same time, we're gonna pick up some free wood today. Wood. Why not? You're here already, you might as well get it. It makes your trip worth it. Sounds good. Let's, Let's get go. some more stuff done. So the two by fours here, as you guys can see, they got grooves in them. And this is what they use on top of their skids of plywood. And of course the grooves is for the strapping to go through and hold the skid of plywood down. But these are good 2x4s for projects. And they're free. So we're going to load these up. And this little stuff here that Amanda's loading is going to be for kindling for the fire. This is good fire starter. And we've been collecting a bunch of this over the last few months. Because they have lots of it in the summertime. Not as much in the wintertime. But still a little bit. And we're going to build up our fire starter kindling so we we got lots of wood for the winter and did i mention it's free it is free which free is good. and sometimes we get a lot like sometimes the bins are overflowing with wood and we'll get like half a truck full of wood which is awesome today our load was a little on the small load, side any free wood is good free wood so when you're in town already you take what you can get our hay feeder design that I came up with for the goats. It's just a couple of two by fours, a one by four, and some of these slats. Now this was all free wood that we picked up at our Home Depot out of their scrap bin. So this, other than a few screws, cost us absolutely nothing. What we're gonna do is put it all together, get it mounted to the wall, put some hay in it, and see how the goats like it.
This is our DIY hay feeder. It works perfect for what we need. The goats can reach it. It's off the ground so nobody can step in it or pee in it anymore. It's really easy to fill. It's right by the door. I think this is going to work perfect for the goats and they already seem to love them. So in their books and mine, it's a win. You can't beat free wood to be able to complete projects around the farm. Are you enjoying the new feeder panda? Hmm? Nova definitely is. Nova is the adventurous kind. She likes to climb on things. She likes to jump in feeders. Wherever she can get a chance. She likes to explore. Lily doesn't like to explore. She just likes crackers. Right, Panda? You like crackers too? And you guys are loving the new feeder. What do you guys think of the new feeders? Nova says they're good. I think it's a hit with Nova. Mm -hmm. Anything new is a hit with Nova. Hey, Panda. Panda that wasn't very so nice. Bully. You are a bully. Well, there's a new toy in the house. And, of mm -hmm. course, Panda wants to play with it first. Mm -hmm. And she's like, Nova, move out of my way. I get first crack at the toy. This is going to save us a lot of money in hay. We should have done this right from the beginning. We when we built our DIY when goat we stalls, stalls, we should have built, we should have built them right away. Hay. But we didn't know what we wanted to build or yeah. how to build the feeders. And of course, we wanted to do it free. Yeah, I just kind of thought this up. I've been looking at the wood that we had and the wood that we collected from Home Depot and I just wanted something super simple that was easy for us to fill and was easy for the goats to eat out of but not something they could climb. So I kind of just threw this together last minute as I started cutting the wood and they worked out great. I think, I think you're a genius. I doubt I'm a genius but I think the goats like them and it works so that's all that matters, right? The goats think you're a genius. <laughs> no, the goats just like food. Have they had their daily crackers today? No, we could give them a cracker. You want to see goats go crazy? Yes. Okay, let's grab them a, a couple crackers. Watch out, Nova. So Amanda has gone to get the crackers. Now, you hear the bag rustling? The goats know what she's doing. Panda says yes, of course. Lily, do you want a cracker? Nova. Nova's. Nova's eating. Hay. She's into the new feeder. Nova. She doesn't know you have a cracker yet. She's like, oh wait, cracker? Really? <laughs> Panda's like, I'll have her cracker. She doesn't want it. I'll eat it. You love crackers, don't you, Nova? He says yes. They are loving the new feeders. Yeah, they really do. Well, they can it's jump perfect. up a little bit if they want to. Goats love yeah, to climb. They can't climb in it, no, which is perfect. But they can kind of stand on it and eat out of it. And goats are curious animals, and they love to climb. They love to play, and it kind of just gives them almost a new apparatus to mess with. Yeah, it's like a new toy. Almost. It is totally. <laughs> Panda, are you giving Nova a piggyback? <laughs> There's Panda saying, "Nova, move out of my way again." Hey, you guys. You be nice, Panda. Panda being a bully. Yes, as usual. I gave you your crackers already, Bully. <laughs> well, you guys continue enjoying your new feeders. Our next project we got to do here is winter's coming up, and we need to build a secondary door on the inside that we can close because the outside door won't be enough to stop the blowing snow from coming in. So we're gonna be building a frame around the door and then another door that slides down and locks the door from the inside. So when the goats aren't going out for several weeks on end in the winter time. The cold can stay out because we definitely wanna keep them warm in here as it can get really cold. Last winter, I think we had a week straight where it didn't get above minus 26. So that's chilly. That's not chilly. If you were a goat sleeping in a garage, you might. <laughs> minus 40 is chilly. That is chilly, but we didn't have too many minus 40 days. I think there was maybe one or two where it got that low, but definitely at minus 26, it was cold. 
Okay, let's get to work on the next project. Sounds good. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys, as we built these DIY hay feeders for the goats. As you can see, they love them as much as we do. Hopefully it will stop them from standing in the hay and peeing on it, which is always a plus in my books. If you liked today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you're notified every time we post a new video. We'll see you guys in the next video. As always, thanks for watching.